is trifle not delicious? Well, it's always delicious, especially when Trish puts her twist on her trifle. Today I see berries and mm -hmm. white chocolate. A lighter version today. Yeah, a lighter version with a sort of a cheesecakey filling instead mm. of the usual custard. So like it's the sound a, of this. <laughs> it's, it's a winner. Okay, well, there's a couple of steps. Mm -hmm. Um, we need to combine in a bowl some cream cheese, cream cheese and a bag of the white chocolate milk. Okay. And this is just a bain-marie on a very low heat. Mm -hmm. So we just want that to warm up and yep. soften and melt the chocolate in there as well until it's nice and smooth. A whole bag of white chocolate? Yes. Mm. Delicious. Right. Whilst you're doing that, yes. I'm going to go on to the assembly in the bowl. Mm -hmm. Um, usually you would use, you know, um, sponge or chocolate sponge or cake or... Mm -hmm. um, I, I think probably one of the easiest things to do is just to use the sponge finger biscuits. And the, because they're sponge fingers, these biscuits are just a much lighter sort of texture yeah. for the for the trifles. It's just all about doing pretty layers. I think so and too. it looks dramatic when it comes to the table and it feeds so many people. So when I have a lot of people coming over, it's a sure thing you're going to get a trifle at my house. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so one of the things that always goes with trifle is some kind of alcohol and mm -hmm. usually it's brandy or rum or, or sherry. Mm -hmm. But we're just going to mix that up a bit today. I've got some kirsch here that I'm going to mm. um, sprinkle over the top. Yep. That just helps to put a little bit of moisture back into the sponge finger biscuits. Mm -hmm. Now, the other thing that's quintessential is some jelly. So we've oh. already made some jelly according to the packet instructions and because this is going to be a nice sort of pink dessert, mm -hmm. um, we've used a raspberry jelly but you could use strawberry or if you'd rather you can have port wine as well. And over here this is melting nicely. I've actually turned the heat off. So when you're melting chocolate in a bain-marie, and you've taught me this many, many times, <laughs> make sure that the pot's not too hot and make sure that the water is not boiling or else the chocolate will seize. That's right. So the next thing I need to do is just to put that jelly over the top. And I love the way that jelly sort of catches the light. Oh, yeah. Makes it look really pretty. So that's in. So you're ready to go there. What we need to do with that, oh, that looks beautiful and smooth. Thanks, we just Trish. need to add a couple of punnets of raspberries, mm -hmm. or you can use frozen raspberries too if you want. Mm -hmm. And that's just been pureed. Fresh raspberries, puree them, and the colours together. I love how red raspberries stain the white chocolate mm. there. Oh, Yum. see, I wasn't going to allow you to do that because I wanted to do it. <laughs> <They're> mixing. <laughs> Whilst you're there, I'm going to give you some gelatine sure. mm -hmm. because once this mixture here that Justine's stirring is cooled, we're going to be able to add some other ingredients to it. We've got some cream mm -hmm. and we've also got a meringue that we need to make to sort of lighten it right up. Great. All right, well then we'll allow this to completely cool. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get onto the meringues. How many egg whites have we got here? We've got two. Two egg whites, a little bit of sugar. We're going to bring this up to stiff peaks mm -hmm. and then we'll go from there. Great. nice and it's firmed up a little bit. I'm going to actually whisk up this cream a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Just uh, classic whipping cream there. Mm -hmm. Yep, perfect. And I'm going to fold that through to lighten this mixture up. Mmm, cream. Raspberries and cream. <laughs> Berries and cream. <laughs> Chocolate and cream. Chocolate. Perfect. <laughs> it's got everything I like in yeah. there. All right. What are you trying to spoon now, Amy? <laughs> <laughs> I do. I'm just waiting for you to put that in. <laughs> okay. okay, that's quite stiff, so we'll need to soften this mixture up. Once we've mixed all that in, what's next, Trishy? It's going to go into the bowl and then we need it to set. Mm -hmm. How long do we leave it in the fridge for? I guess overnight at, at least is going to be fine, but a couple of hours if you were in a hurry. Okay, well, I'm in a hurry because I want to taste this. <laughs> so we'll put this in the fridge okay. for a few hours mm -hmm. and then we'll come back and have a little taste of Trishy's trifle. <laughs> Trishy, this is looking spectacular. We're doing the final touches now. You can see that mousse has set nicely because all of those berries are sitting quite proudly on the top mm -hmm, there. They are. This is the perfect combination of berries, cream, white chocolate, of course. You can't forget the white chocolate. No, no. Trishy, you've done it again. <laughs>